I used to love playing Minecraft minigame servers about a decade ago. Since I'm making my own multiplayer voxel-based shooter in VR with Python, bringing some Minecraft minigames in but adapting them for guns in VR could be insanely fun. Many Minecraft minigames mix ranged weapons and building mechanics such as Sky Wars, Bed Wars, Destroy the Monument, and what I'd consider to be one of the best examples, Turf Wars. Turf Wars appeared on the Mineplex server over a decade ago and was popular on a variety of servers. Two teams battle over turf that they can build on while fighting with primarily bows and arrows. Kills increase your territory by stealing some from the enemy, whoever has the most territory at the end wins. Sadly, this game mode has been nearly completely lost to time. I couldn't find any servers nowadays that have the traditional version of it. The closest I could find is the Hive which has something similar called Ground Wars which I've been showing footage of. Turf Wars is just building and guns with an extremely simple base rule set that can be expanded upon for more chaos. I've decided to create it in my VR shooter Gunslaw to create something that as far as I know truly does not exist yet. Currently I just have the shooting mechanics in the game for game modes like Deathmatch. Flashbang. So I'll need some reusable building mechanics to create fun voxel based games. The question is, how do I create a natural VR interface that allows for switching between building and shooting efficiently? Unlike Pancake, or in other words non-VR games, I have played a wide range of VR games and I have some ideas here. In Contractor Showdown, arguably the second most popular VR battle royale, although it's kinda dead now, there's a device on your chest that you can use to buy things, call in airstrikes, and more. Similarly, in Pavlov VR, the bomb in the Counter-Strike base game mode Search and Destroy sits on your chest. Guns in both games sit at your hips and on your back, which leaves what's basically become a game mode dependent space to work with on your chest as a standard. So here's the idea. All guns and magazines are interacted with in the standard slots as realistic items, but there's a pickaxe on your chest that you can grab which basically functions as a build tool. Once you're holding it, you can press the button mapped to the mag release on guns to rotate through a visible inventory that floats next to your hand. You swing the pickaxe to break blocks and place blocks by pulling the trigger. However, since it's not a true networked item like the guns or grenades, it snaps back to your chest once you drop it so that you can quickly switch back to shooting. Now the lazy way to implement a pickaxe is to make the player destroy blocks by pointing and pulling the trigger. But I decided to implement a full skill based mining system. The more skilled you are, the faster you can break blocks. First off, your motion must meet both velocity and displacement requirements in order for it to be considered a swing. So no wrist wiggling allowed. Once you hit a breakable block, yellow weak points will appear. You must strike the weak points in order, starting with the biggest one to destroy the block. I can easily adjust block toughness by just modifying the number of weak points you have to hit to break the block. It could definitely use some more polish, but it's quite fun and opens the door to a lot of skill-based voxel shooter gameplay in future game modes. But back to Turf Wars. I just needed a flat arena with a line that can be moved by the server. The server monitors kills to move the line and destroys blocks it crosses. It also sets permissions for building areas based on where the territory line is. Aside from that, it mostly just inherits from the team deathmatch game mode since players just have to respawn and fight each other while building. That's a real world use case for object oriented inheritance for you. Once the time is up, the winner is whoever has the most territory, in other words the most kills per team. Or it can end when one team claims all the territory. Here we go. <laughs> Look at my artistic vision. Where did he go? That looked like a hit, but I think I just barely hit the corner of the block in front of you. Here we go. Uh, how do I reload? Uh, press the top button on the controller and then get the mag from your waist with your trigger. This is an interesting spot to play from before you face a block. Hmm. Building right on the line is a bit of a risky move. You're like actually at 14 points every time I look. Can't seem to move the line further. Nope. He's a 
bridging. The game mode is quite a blast, and I have to say, playing it with guns feels so much better than the clunky bows and arrows in Minecraft. There's all sorts of cool things I could add to it, such as killstreak rewards and grenades that destroy blocks from a distance. It's awesome to experience a game I played as a kid a decade ago as a native VR experience. I'm really excited to adapt other game modes like Destroy the Monument or Bed Wars. My game Gunslaw VR is in active development and I need playtesters to see how some of the game modes like Turf Wars play when there are a ton of players. So if you have VR you can hop over to the description where I've linked the Discord for playtests. Or if you know someone who has VR you can send them the webpage I set up for the game. So what's next? Well. In playtests I had a bit of a problem. The only way to change the map and game mode was to turn off the server and restart it with new settings. The game desperately needs to allow players to choose game modes and maps themselves. From experience in Pavlov, this is where all the post-game and pre-game banter happens, much like a COD lobby. In Pavlov, it's a boring menu where everyone is staring at a 2D panel with avatars. But what if I stuck all those salty players, many of which who are already drunk or on something, in a virtual tavern? And furthermore, what if I added proximity chat? Out of my way, son! Door stuck! Door stuck! Please! Okay, bye.